Hello, good morning. Unfortunately, the weather is atrocious today. It's raining very heavily outside. I'm now taking refuge under this monument here behind Chairman Mao's mausoleum. So, having got up early for the Great Wall and then saw there was rain, I then took the opportunity instead to change my plan and go and visit the mausoleum of Chairman Mao, which is amazing. I had to queue for an hour and a half. I'm not allowed to bring my camera inside, I can't bring my bag in. You just walk in and there's a big statue of him there with all the flowers. And then you see him there wrapped in the national flag of China and his face is glowing orange. Well preserved through some glass. The security there is a very strange experience. Uh, I'm not sure what to make of it. It was really interesting, definitely worth queuing and definitely worth checking out. So my plan today instead is to go to the Great Hall of the People, the National Museum of China, the Temple of Heaven and maybe the Bird's Nest if I have time and go to the Great Hall of China tomorrow when the weather's clear. So having gone to the Great Hall of the People, it turns out the government are using the building at the moment so it's shut for this morning. So maybe it will open this afternoon. So now I've come to the National Museum of China, which I had to queue for about an hour again to, to get in, and getting in wasn't easy. Really crowded, people pushing in the queue, and getting my passport scanned to get a ticket. It was a bit of a mess, but I know there's a lot of interesting things to be seen in this museum, so it's gonna be worth coming here. Just sitting down now with uh, some pretty Western food, and for reasonable prices, Got myself a tuna salad sandwich and some Chinese green tea. All right, here I am near the entrance of the museum, as you can imagine. It's a pretty huge building. hoisted up after the Chinese Revolution by Mao himself. And this microphone is the very microphone he used to address the Chinese nation about the revolution, that one there. So I finished in the National Museum and then I checked on the Great Hall of the People and it's still closed for government activities or whatever reason. So I'm gonna have to put that on hold until tomorrow. Tomorrow I plan to go to the Great Wall of China. So if I have time before four o'clock when it closes, then I will go. I don't really wanna miss it, but it's looking like it's gonna be quite tight tomorrow. So at the moment I'm just here having my lunch. I've got some duck and egg noodle ramen about to get tucked in and then after I finish this I'm gonna head off to the Temple of Heaven. Okay I'm inside the Temple of Heaven grounds now. As you can see it's lightly drizzling so as the Chinese hate rain it's nice and quiet. So this is the main building in the Temple of Heaven, the one you always see on the pictures. It's definitely the coolest design temple I've seen. I like the fact that today it's also quite misty, as it was yesterday in the Forbidden City.
So that stone in the center is known as the heavenly stone and it's supposed to represent the nine heavens. And for each section of stone slabs after it, there's 9, 18, 27, all the way up to 81 on the ninth row. Apparently, according to the side note, it says that if you speak while standing on the heavenly stone, your voice will sound very prominent. This is the first time in weeks I've been in a place, in a public area, where there's not a single other human being around. This is what the atmosphere of a temple grounds should feel like. It shouldn't be a thousand people bashing you with their umbrellas, pushing to get to the front. It's just a nightmare when you get to the busier parts. I'm still at the Temple of Heaven grounds. I've just walked off the main uh, straight route where the actual temples are. I'm now walking back to the entrance, but I'm walking back a slightly different way. I'm going to go to the Pearl Market, which is just next door. I wasn't going to see it, but seeing as it's so close, I might as well pay it a visit. I've walked around for two minutes already and it's been a bit painful so far. I've been to the fake market in Shanghai and quite a few markets in Hong Kong and other parts of China like Suzhou and the hard sellers, very hard sellers. And for someone like me, a young 20 year old white British male, it's like everyone's like, looky look, come here, come here. last two attempts I tried to make this take, people wanted pictures, so third time lucky. So I've just finished at the Hong Chao Pearl Market, I bought a few things that I wanted. Now I've come to somewhere I've always wanted to come in Beijing, maybe not somewhere every tourist can be bothered to go to, but somewhere that I think is quite cool, which is the Bird's Nest Stadium. So now I'm here, I can finally say I've seen it in person. Behind me is the aquatic centre where Michael Phelps cleaned up the gold medals in 2008. There's a really good atmosphere around the park, as if the Olympics were still going on in Beijing. Everybody's here having pictures, it's raining, it's misty and smoggy, the people are still out here. <laughs> Back in Beijing's hutongs, I just had a thought. The last 12, 13 days, however long it's been, I haven't had a break. Every day I've been up doing so many things, exploring lots of attractions, going to so many different places, early in the morning till fairly late in the evening. And tomorrow, I'm going to the Great Wall of China for my very last day before I leave after one whole year. But hopefully it's an amazing way to cap off what's been an amazing week and a half, two weeks. Oh, check out tomorrow's video for the Great Wall of China.